All right, so we're gonna go over some advanced search tactics on Sales Navigator for building very specific prospect lists. As you know, Sales Navigator opens you up to LinkedIn's entire database of users. So we'll do some advanced tactics like Boolean to get very specific and build niche lists. I'm gonna build an example e-commerce list for today's training. So first things first, we can either build the list on the left-hand side or open up all the filters in this box. This is probably the best way to build the list. And then later we'll touch on account results because you can actually search by specific departments, headcounts, and annual revenue with companies. But for this training, let's go over lead results. So let's start, let's say I only want companies in California because I'm a regional sales rep. Um, okay, and then relationship. Typically, you're going to want second and third degree connections. You don't want to message your current network, which would be first degree connections here. And then let's select some industries I may want, such as retail. Um, there's a long list of 100 industries. I do link to it in, this, in a blog post that I'll paste. But let's just add some of the more common ones. Consumer electronics is a great one. Um, sporting goods, luxury goods. I'm not going to go through the whole the whole list, but there's a ton of industries on LinkedIn. And then let's say I want I don't want too big of companies because they may already have my solution or an in-house team. I like the one to two hundred employee range. Perhaps one to ten is too small. They don't have budget. These are all toggles I can play with. For seniority level, maybe I only want decision makers. So I'm going to do director level and up. CXO stands for chief. Could be chief anything based on our titles later. Um, and let's say I only want marketing. But again, there's a ton of functions here, right? Purchasing, operations, engineering, etc. So all these filters make lists get tighter. So let's do title. Let's say I only want marketing folks. Since I selected seniority, it's only going to give me people at this seniority level with marketing in their title. So it's not like I don't have to come here and type chief marketing officer because it's actually already included. Now, things you'll notice is the wrong types of marketing people getting included. For example, VP of sales and marketing. So I may come to title and exclude the title sales, right? Maybe I'm getting some, um, some assistants, some interns. These are all things that when I'm cleaning up my list, I can exclude with this little circle with a line through it. So those are great ways to tighten it up. Um, I can also add some pseudo titles such as digital, uh, paid media, right? There's a whole host of, of lists you can build based on what someone calls themselves within LinkedIn. E-commerce is an interesting title, right? So anyways, that's the basics. Now let's hit this keyword tab to get even tighter. As you can see, this is everyone who meets those criterias. Um, we can even go by company and go specific. Like, let's say I want, you know, only people from Amazon. Um, let me open up all the filters. Some, there's some other cool filters, such as maybe you only want someone who's been in the role very recently, right? Um, let's say you only want public companies or you're targeting education. There's all sorts of to toggles here, groups. You want them in a Shopify owners group. There's, there's so many things you can do, right? Um, but what you'll notice is LinkedIn isn't perfect. It's going to pull people outside of these industries or people who used to work in these industries. So we really want to use keywords. So let's say even though I'm getting consumer goods companies, I really want people with, with an e-commerce background because my product's for e-commerce. So I might use some tactics. I'm going to go over a few. Or is one of them. Or Shopify. And then let's say I want to make sure, extra sure, that they're in digital marketing, not just marketing. I may do and digital. This keyword 
this keywords filter searches their entire LinkedIn profile. So these keywords would be anywhere in their LinkedIn profile. And let's say I find something that I don't want that makes someone unqualified. For example, that sales, that sales word, I really don't want sales reps. So I might add some more advanced tactics here, such as not sales. I don't want anyone who used to be in sales. Now I'm getting very, very specific with this list. This is way small for a list, but if you're getting hyper-targeted, it may be the best way. You know, I may expand this to the United States. There's a whole host of, of cool things we can do. Um, but that's the basics on, on how to build a great list. You can use exclusions in any of these sections. If I'm getting ad agencies, I might want to exclude that industry here. So Anyways, those are great ways. And then lastly, when I'm done, I'm gonna save searches, right? And I'm gonna name them something very specific so I can come back and target that list, e-commerce owners. And that is it for today. That's really all you need to know.